Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a video on how I take my notes for online school. I've been doing online school for the past three years and it's worked best for me. And with COVID coming around and all that, there's been a lot of an increase in the registrations for online school. And lots of parents are preferring online school for their kids. And where I live, there is the option to do in-person school, but there was an increase in the registrations for the online school I do, and for the elementary kids, there was a wait list. But thankfully, there was not a wait list for me because I've been doing it for so long. A lot of the in-person schools are actually getting lots of COVID cases, and <laughs> people are switching to online school. So I just thought I'd share with you how I take my notes for online school. This might not work for everyone, but it works for me. So it has to work for at least a few people. And yeah, I just think I wanted to share this with you because I like taking my notes. Let's go. So here's a little flip through of my notes that I've taken so far this year. I'm quite ahead in my classes, but this is just what I got to show you guys for my notes as an example of what they look like in action so yeah this is just what they look like and i sped it up because it was taking forever and yeah that's what they look like so to start off by taking my notes i like to create a color scheme to start off i took a purple highlighter two purple markers a purple pen a black pen and a calligraphy marker the next thing I do is take the marker I choose and write a header. To write a header, there are so many options you can choose from. Just search on Pinterest, different headers you can write. And then with my header, I like to take my calligraphy pen. It's double-sided. I take the small side and outline my header so it pops just a little bit more. And yeah, that's what I do with my header. And when I obviously outline the letters, it doesn't really go all the way around so i fill it in with a lighter purple marker just so it gives dimension and fills in the empty spaces so the first thing i do is write down the subheader of the topic that i'm talking about in the assignment slash lesson and just write that down and once i write it down i highlight it with the highlighter that matches the color of the pen so here i'm using purple so i'd use a purple highlighter and then i just like to write out some notes and basically just write notes about what the topic is if something is really important i will use one of those little asterisk stars and write the important information and if something is also important in the middle of a kind of sentence then i would just take the colored pen and underline it so then we just basically repeat what we did before and write the subheader highlight it same color and write the notes important information and yeah that's what you do the next thing i want to touch base on is writing examples so for examples i like to draw a little arrow and put the example where the arrow points let's say i need to write a chart so to write a chart i would take my ruler and my pen like my calligraphy pen and write the box and make the chart that i need to write so if you're doing a pie chart you draw a pie chart but i'm just drawing a square rectangle chart and putting like little rows and sections and basically for that you would just write the chart out and put the information in the boxes if i ever need to add little like important things i like to draw these like banners so basically you use your ruler you can draw a banner and draw the banner i don't know how else to explain it and then take like the colored pen and draw inside the whatever it's called shadow box and then just write what you need to write in the banner so that is it for this video i hope you learned something and i hope this helped you out because I know writing notes is a huge challenge when you're doing online school because you don't know what to write down. 
and it's a lot harder to figure out how to organize your notes just because there's no teacher directly telling you how to take your notes or giving you ideas for ways to take your notes. This is just how I take my notes and how I prefer to take them. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like taking their notes this way, but it just helps me and it keeps me organized. So that's kind of why I shared it with you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. You definitely don't have to do that because it's, if it makes you happy, do it. If it doesn't, don't even bother. So yeah, bye guys.